Hello everyone, it's Lucas here from Swagger One and I'm back with a brand new retro Let's Play and this time around I'm checking out Earthbound on the Super Nintendo Classic Mini, a very very awesome RPG indeed. I didn't even get a UK release, um, the only reason I'm kind of able to play it now is thanks to the magic of the Super Nintendo Classic Mini which has got like 20 packing games plus Earthbound and it's a game that I'd heard about uh, for quite a number of years but I just never played, I got to play it for the first time last year and absolutely loved it. It's one of the most off the wall RPGs I've ever played. Doesn't take itself too seriously. And um, it often reminds me of, and this is going to sound like really weird, when I was a kid, you know, like walking. We, like where I live, there's a lot of countryside, and we'd always walk to sort of different places, you know. Um, and there were like no adults around, so you could go on your own little adventures. It kind of makes me feel a little bit like that. So it's very, very nostalgic at the same time, even though I've kind of never played it. It brings up those memories for me. Um, I have to say, it's one of the best RPGs I've ever played. Very light hearted, very fun. And uh, so I'm going to be doing that for you over the course of hopefully many, many videos. So I hope you won't get bored. Before I start I just want to say if you're new to Swagger One and like what you see what on earth are you waiting for hit that red subscribe button now hit that bell notification icon also because that way you'll be instantly subscribed to my YouTube channel and you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new retro gaming video meaning you won't miss a thing if you are enjoying this video don't forget to drop me a like on it because it really really helps out the channel comment on this video let me know if you played the awesome Earthbound before um, your favourite RPG memories on the Super Nintendo your favourite RPGs of all time perhaps you know maybe you played a, a good RPG on another system that you really really like you know I'd love to hear from you drop your comments in the comment section below don't forget to share this video around with everybody that you know anybody that you think might be interested in this type of retro content it really really helps with the YouTube algorithm it allows my channel to grow and it means more blokes and birds across the land will be able to find and access my content consistently at easier and finally 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 you can follow my social media there will be links in this video description so without any further ado guys let's get started let's play some earth bands. so i don't know how this is going to go in terms of cutting it up um i'll probably do like half an hour each and just cut it up into like manageable chunks because this is an absolutely gargantuan game of course if anybody wants a long play of this then do let me know and i will try and maybe upload longer videos because i do understand that people's time is precious so we're gonna start a new game i think if we can, or can I delete that file? We'll delete, actually, we'll delete file one because uh, I'm a little bit OCD. <laughs> you know I mean, I don't like number two or number three. I've got to be number one. You know, just the way I am. Let's start a new game. Here we go. Uh, tech speed. We'll go with medium, I think. And uh, of course, I want stereo sound. So, <laughs> this is where the game gets really weird because you have to do a few things before you can start the game. Which style of windows do you prefer? Oh, I'm going to say banana. Yellow is kind of like my favourite colour if I'm honest. Right, please name him. No problem, man. So I'm just gonna put my name in. Okay, I don't want it to be sh too much, too many like shouty caps. So there we go. Lucas or Lucas, I should say. Sorry, I've been doing so much French. Lucas in French is Lucas. So yeah, forgive me. Name her too. So you have to do all this stuff. Uh, I'll call her Bird. <laughs> Not that I'm being chauvinistic, it's just a bit of, bit of humour. We'll call her bird. There we go. <laughs> you can just put don't care. I like it, it's good. Name your friend. Um, uh, oh, bloke. We'll call him bloke. Uh, unfortunately, you can only have limited characters to put their names in, so it's like... You can't put like in anything too complex, but that's absolutely fine. Then I'll put bloke. There we are. Okay. So you have to do like, all this stuff. Name another friend. Right. There's this dude here. So I've got bloke bird. We'll call him. Um, oh, I'll call him Kane because kung fu. Uh, you know, with David Carradine, kind of reminds me a little bit of that. And I used to watch that when I was little. My dad was really into Kung Fu. Yeah, it was a good show. You know, very philosophical. I always come away feeling like peaceful after watching it. There we are. Name your pets. Oh, what can I call the dog? Uh, let me see. Uh, what can I call? Oh, we'll just call him Alan. I have no idea why. We'll just call him Alan. There you go. Lovely. 
not Fido or anything like that. Favorite homemade food? Oh, it's a real blind date situation. This. What? What kind of food do I like? Oh, there's just not enough characters though. Oh, do you know I could go on and on. I like chicken, but at the same time I like, I like all kinds of things. Uh, uh, we'll go with. Can I put, is there enough characters in there to put chicken? We'll see how much, see what we can do. See. Oh, we might be alright actually, yeah. Oh, chicky. We'll have chicky. That'll be fine. That's alright, chicky. What's your favourite thing? Oh, God. Gaming. But there's probably not enough letters to put what I want, so. Oh, let's just make it less small so yeah this is what you gotta do even before you start the game can I oh there you go just enough there there we are that's fine lovely so we're all, we're all set to go now let's do it so yeah seven minutes guys just to, just to do the intro just to kind of start the game so here we are guys we're starting off in my town I guess uh, you know so the year is 1990X, I guess it's uh, in the future, or was in the future, so check it out. And the whole thing sort of revolves around this, I believe, I think it's a meteorite lands in Onet, and basically just uh, surprises the locals, and uh, I think it releases an alien being called, I think it's Gigas or Gigas, I've never known how to say it, I think it's Gigas with a Y, so I'm thinking of Gigas from Secret of Mana. So yeah, this is my house guys, Lucas's house. This is it. So here we go, there's there's me, the wee man. Having a little bit of a, a snooze fest there. I want to imagine that it's Sunday night and uh, it's the school holidays. <laughs> so here we are, look at that, my little jammies. So one thing I have noticed about Earthbound is you want to talk and examine almost anything because um, that it kind of encourages you to do that because it's the only way to progress sometimes. Right, whose room is this? We'll pop into this room. Who's this? Talk to. Hey, bro. Did the sand wake you up? Were you freaked out? What am I doing? Do you think mum will let me stay up late tonight? I can't seem to fall back asleep. Well, you never know. And then well, we're going to examine this box. <laughs> so you have to check. So basically, it's not like, I don't know, Zelda or other RPGs where you just push the button. You have to manually like select it from the menu. Lucas opened the present. There's a cracked bat inside. So obviously, I'm going to take it. So I need to equip my, equip my bat. And here we go. So yeah, it's a nice little RPG. As I said, it's very colourful. There's all kinds of things going on off the wall humorous and it's my type of game really it's very sort of quirky right we pop down the stairs and there's me mum what was that noise lucas you don't seem scared are you nuts <laughs> now you want to go check it out oh okay you'll sneak out of your room anyway even if i ask you not to at least change out of your jammies before you go there you go that's my mum <laughs> that's kind of how she's in real life really <laughs> bless her i do love my mum right and now I'm fully dressed. I, I look like Marty McFly from Back to the Future 2 with <laughs> the cap on. So let's go down the stairs and let's go see what we can do. Let's go talk to Mom again. Be careful. Come home as soon as you can. Pardon the problem. And speak to the dog. Besides humans, dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? Exactly. Well, let's pop out the house. Let's go see what all the hubbub's about. So yeah, we're outside in the dark. Going to be a nosy neighbour now. I'm going to speak to people. Right. I have to talk to this guy. I want to return home, but the road is closed. People are taking this meteorite situation too seriously. I hope it's not the same one from Tomb Raider 3 or, or buggered, basically. We'll have Dr. Willard coming back. <laughs> on that police are infamous for closing roads if something is going on. We are going for the world record. And this guy's like, don't panic. It's just a what? Meteorite that who fell? I just want to what? Go home. So yeah, the road's kind of blocked off, so I need to kind of find a way to get to the meteorite. So, can I go this way? It kind of reminds me of Peanuts, you know, Charles Schultz. You know, that sort of animation style, I get that sort of vibe when playing it. 
but it's uh, really really well done I didn't even know I could take a shortcut behind there's another house here and there's this dude did you hear the big bang I think a meteorite landed nearby I want to be the first to see it okay I'm going to try to be the first to get there pop in the house Oh, hi. Pokey, my brother, ran out of here to chase after a police car. He said, Picky, you should stay home, so I'm home watching our house. Mom and Dad aren't home yet. They went out to an elegant restaurant. Well, there you go. It's not a bad life, is it, really, being an RPG? Let's pop up the stairs. Let's see what we can do. Da -da 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 so, yeah, it's going to be a really, really long game. I'm very excited. Lots of adventure, um, you know. So, by the time you see this, it should be either near Christmas maybe or just after or close to Christmas so it's going to be something to hopefully you can, you guys can enjoy over the winter months you know if it's going to be cold outside have yourself a cup of tea and watch Swagger Blonde why not <laughs> that's what I tend to do over Christmas I watch tons of YouTube channels and just you know relax I'm always watching like a like old sort of um, old how they made sort of certain video games there's always like little documentaries that some people have done. Right, who are you talking to? I want to talk to that guy. Don't you know what time it is? Get your butt home, pronto. Oh my god. Another one? Oh, keep doing check. A meteorite has landed. The sharks are running wild in town. You kids are wandering around and I'm hungry. I hate my job. Okay. It's dangerous to go to the hilltop. Even if I advise you not to go, it won't stop you, will it? No. Probably not, me old China. Let's uh, let's see if we can get up that hilltop. Yeah, definitely remind me of when I was a kid going off all day on adventures. Fantastic. Happy days. Hey, do you know what time it is? Don't you know what time it is? Right, okay. Uh, ooh. We must be close now because there's a little gift over there. A prezi. We'll take the prezi. Lucas opened the present. There is a bread roll inside. Lucas takes it. Ooh. Fan dabby dozy. Right. Let's pop up the hill. And here we go. Who's this dude? Let's talk to him. Hey, Lucas. Hi, you buddy. A meteorite fell down and went boom. It was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to help make my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also want to tell you. Whoops. I almost told you about my... Uh, by the way, Lucas, did you check my billboard? I wrote the message myself. That's my real job, you know. I'm a billboard guy. Why don't you check out my work? Right. Oh. Yeah, I'm in Zelda mode. Treasure hunter. This is Leah X. Agarate's house. Okay, so he's a treasure hunter. Another copper here. It's a fair cop governor. That meteorite looks different than usual. It's strange and marvellous. As well as mysterious. Ooh. Can I not get past? What's this? Hey, Lucas. Don't be rubbernecking. You're getting in the cops. Oops, I mean officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorites. That's Picky's brother, Pokey, who's gone out. But you're bugging the officers. Let's just go up to the hillside if we can and check it out because we're burning daylight. How do I get to it? I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to go down, I think. Clear out, get out my clear out, get out my clear out, get out my way, clear out of way, not get my whoops, my mistake. I mean, get out of my way, right? So we can't go that way, so we're blocked off. So, oh, how do I get to the hill? If I can't go this way, then where am I supposed to go? Aha! Can I? I can't go that way. I'm going to have to find a different way. Unfortunately, there's no way I can get up that hill that way oh my god this is going to be more complex than I thought but uh, maybe I'm not meant to look at it now maybe I've, I think I've got to go home I think that's what I've got to do because I cannot get to it well that's fine but yeah fantastic RPG it basically you never know what's going to happen next with this game it's not like not that this makes what I'm going to say makes other RPGs bad, but there's so many different elements to this one. It is unbelievable. Things that are happening. I want to return home, but the road is closed. People are taking this meteorite situation. Oh, I've already spoken to that guy. Let's go to see. Mom. Welcome home, Lucas. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Scoot off to bed. Um, yes, we'll go to bed. We'll get some. We'll get some much-needed rest. 
And then hopefully we can hoof it up the hill later that night. Oh, blimey. What's happening now? What is happening now? Oh, here we go. So I'm up, but why am I up? That's what I don't understand. Right, okay. Still in my jammies. Is that my sister? I guess it is. Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. Alright. Let's see. Poor Lucas. There's mom's stop. My land, my my land. Who could be knocking at this time of night? Does she mean my lord? Would you answer it? Okay, guess I'm going to answer the door. Oh, it's uh, Pokey. Ooh. Hey, l -l -l listen to what I've got to say. When I took Picky to the place where the meteorite landed... Oh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual, Snicker. Anyway, as I was saying, the police that were guarding the meteorite landing left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know the sharks, they're the local ruffians. And they were really going wild. Suddenly, I noticed that Picky was gone. I blame the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm going to get it. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me find Picky? Yeah, okay. Okay, good buddy. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? I know that the dog is unreliable, but you should take him, Alan along. The correct bat in Tracy's room could help out at a time like this. I've got it. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. You're my very own natural born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it. But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. So it's got lots of little kind of touches like this. Very, very humorous. I also want to say if you can hear a lot of wind. Um, it's very windy outside. Um, very, very strong wind. So apologies if you can hear that on the recording. But hopefully it won't be too bad. It's been sort of up and down all day. Well, just Tracy, I'll do everything I can to help you. Good luck on your adventure. You might get hungry along the way, so here is a cookie. Oh, bless. Lucas got the cookie. You can also leave anything you don't need with me. Do you want me to hang on to something? No, not really. Be careful. Right. Yeah, sure, you're cool. Whatever. Okay, that's very weird. Do you want me to go with you? Yeah, I guess I'll have no choice. So Alan's coming with me. I've got Alan with me. He's going to help me. Alan joined you. And this is uh, Pokey. All right, you go out in front and I'll follow at a safe distance. Let's get going. Let's do it. Nice. Pokey's joined me. So we're going to hopefully head up the hill. Check out. The oh, the phone is ringing. Answer it. At my house, my dad gets bent if I don't get the phone with the first three rings. Lucas answers the phone. Hello, it's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I can make a real record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposited $30 into your bank account. Do you have an ATM card? I do, yes. Withdraw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. What? Well, the father of a hero, at least. Whoa, ha, ha, slam, beep. Okay. So, yeah, that's how we're going to be saving the game by telephone. So, I guess now we're going to go and check out the meteorite. Oh! Couldn't, couldn't get away there. It's our first battle. Here is the coil snake's <laughs> opening attack. The coil snake called around you, and so, yeah. Basically, um, the combat system's really weird because it's not like... It is kind of random battles, but at the same time it isn't because some some enemies you can kind of avoid. Um, it's really weird, but the fights are really kind of cool at the same time. There we go, you won. So, and you need to get experience points, and the way you do that is obviously defeat enemies and get stronger. So, with that, we're going to have to try and get out of here. You engage the runaway dog. Here is a chance for a surprise opening attack. Alan is barking. <laughs> oh, this is great. The runaway dog used a what? An attack, biting attack. Yikes. So yeah, you gotta watch your HP and your. Um, I think that's like your magic underneath. I'm not entirely sure. It says PP. I'm not. Right there we go. Lovely. So yeah, 
we have to go have to go up the power of life up a eh? right okay cool Okay, so let's do it. I just, I just want to avoid some enemies. I don't want to fight every single enemy that I see. That's the thing. So normally, sometimes, as you can see, you can just solid snake them and just get by them really, really quickly. But some enemies you can't. So I would say that battle system is really, really fair here. Let's just. Uh, I'm gonna use the bite and attack. Pokey apologise profusely. <laughs> That's what I mean, it's just a lot of fun. We attack the coral snake, the coral snake gets destroyed. Oh god, almost. No. I'm just not doing very well health wise. I mean, yeah, we've got to get that HP and that PP up. Basically, you won. Lucas gains one experience point, so we're doing well. See if we can get up to. Oh, for god's sake. I need to get up to the meteorite. That's all I want to do. Here's the runaway dog's opening attack. The runaway dog is making a loud piercing howl. I just hope that I can just defeat it before. I think I've kind of taken a bit of a chance here. Okay. Let's do this. There we go. Good. Fan Dabby Dozy. Okay. Lucas gains four experience points. So hopefully we can get up to it now. See who we've got. See what's going on. Here we go. It's going meteorite. No problem here. Okay. Ah woof. If I knew this was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. So Alan buggers off. So it's just me and Pokey now. And Picky. What? Oh. You woke me up, Pokey. I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away when well, I'm glad that you're okay. Let's go home now. I bet Mom and Dad are worried sick about us. Jeez, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. There we go. Okay, cool. Picky joined you. So what about this meteorite? I can't check the meteorite. Oh, and I've got like PSI, that's like my magic, okay. Caution, there are still lots of fires burning here and there, it's hot. Okay, so I can't... Luca, do you hear a buzzing that sounds like a bee flying around? Yes. Yes, you can hear it. Well, I couldn't, but you have to say yes just to activate it. A massive beam of light shines on the meteorite. And what have we got? Yeah, it's a little bee. A bee I am not. I'm from ten years in the future and in the future all is devastation. Gygus the universal cosmic destroyer sent all to the horror of eternal darkness. However you must listen where I am from. There is a well known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says when the chosen boy reaches the point he will find the light. So it does have something in common with other RPGs you know where it's like you're the chosen one and things like that. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will reveal the path of light you see. It is my opinion that you are that boy Lucas. This I believe. Gygus' monstrous, monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gygus. Three things are of the utmost importance. Wisdom, courage and friendship. The legend from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gygus. I will tell you more later. Go now and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Lucas. Did you listen to what I told you? Yes. Thank you for listening to my long story. You are as exceptional as I expected you to be. Thank you very much, bloke. Nice work, insect bloke. Right, so, with that being said, Buzz Buzz now joins you. So, yeah, he's going to join me for a bit as well. It's mad, isn't it? Lucas, it looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three bugs, three boys, he said. I'm not one of those three, am I? Because I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Jeez, my heart is almost pounding right out of my chest. Alright, well, I guess we're going to go back now anyway. Try and get back home without too much trouble. Does this guy... Lucas, buddy, I have something to tell you. 
and only you. Can you come visit me later alone? Oh, I'm getting real Herbert vibes with this dude. I will try. Maybe he's going to give me something. Right. Anyway, let's just go down this hill. See what we got going on. Down here. Look at this bee man. It's just waiting to attack. There doesn't seem to be any enemies around, which is a good thing. Am I going the right way? Oh, now what's happening? It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at foiling Master Gygus' plans, but you must now surrender. You are no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. Oh god, looks like we got a fight. Starman Jr. Wow, so we're protected by shield apparently, but tricky attacks, one HP of damage to Starman Jr. So yeah, I won't explain too much about the, the fight. It's typical RPG stuff, basically, back and forth action. Right, can we get this guy? Alright, I want to just use a bread roll. There we go. Lovely. Just in case, because I don't want to get knocked off, because uh, I'll have to do it all over again otherwise. Okay. Buzz Buzz tried PSI shield E. Lucas's psychic shield becomes stronger. Okay. So yeah, it does get a little bit monotonous to be honest, but you kind of get used to it and it becomes easier. It's a little bit too much to take in, I think, at the beginning. This is very psychedelic and also, as, as I said, you will learn to enjoy it more because the way that the fights are humorous, you'll be fighting some really strange enemies as well. Enemies you wouldn't even expect to fight. Look at this buzz buzz can do damage to him. There we go. I won. Fan dabby dozy. Lucas gained 16 experience points and Lucas's level is now level 3. Off as up went by 2. Okay, excellent. So yeah, good. Got an increase of HP as well. So, woo. I was taking a big chance there. He came from 10 years in the future to kill me, so he can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gygus, as well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent due to Gygus's influence of the evil in our minds. It is the truth, so listen. Alright, fair enough. Right, let's go back to, um, let's take Picky and Pokey home, maybe? Right, let's see. Oh god, look at that. Big lips, big lipstick. Where in Sam Hill have you boys been? I'll have to think of a suitable punishment. Okay, well she doesn't say much. There's the father. Maybe, maybe this dude will have more to say. I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really going to get it now. Oh. Yikes. Probably going to get the slipper out of the cupboard. By the way, I would be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. <laughs> We've loaned your father for a lot of money. It may have been a hundred thousand dollars or more. Oh, well, I guess it really could have been less. But because of the loan, my family and I live in now poverty. What a git! My husband is much too lenient with the children. Oh well, nice guys finished last. That's the story of our life. Oh, I. I think it's a dung beetle. I'll smash your guts out. Oh god. She's killed it. Oh no, ah, I gasp. I was much weaker than I thought, so you must now begin your adventure. <laughs> She's killed him. She's killed him. I guess it's all up to me then. Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words, okay? To defeat Gygus, your own power must unite with the Earth. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near Onet. It's called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? Yes. Alright. You are a very intelligent young man and... Oh, the pain. Everything is getting dark. 
Ooh, gas. Before I pass on, I want to give you something. It is the sandstone. You can record the melodies from the eight to your sanctuary locations. Okay. Into the stone it is an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone. But did you want to hear the story one more time? No. Good. So then you go on that side, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm going to use that story. Ah, yeah. Alright, awesome. Good. So I'm going to go up and see the lads and see if there's anything in there I can pick up, like any gifts or anything. Let's speak to the boys. I don't want to look at the meteorite anymore, okay. What's he say? My dad really got after me. He said I got no dessert for the rest of the decade. Okay, right, we're just going to say the same things. Nothing up there. Let's go down, speak to the old parents again. Sorry, I'm so tired. Nag, nag, nag. Okay. My husband is very soft-hearted. Right. So I guess we'll go back home. We'll see Mum. 